In this video, we're going to continue on with our annual training plan project, and we're going to finalize the formatting and the print areas. So what you'll notice is when I go to the print preview, this template prints nicely to one page, and we can hang this up in our office or hand this to a coach. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and we are starting off with the template the way we finished it off in the last video. And as a quick reminder of how far we got, we basically finished off this template. And in the last video, we added this workload section where we can rank our volume and intensity from one to 10 and it will automatically color code as well as select the mesocycle that we wanna use from a deload base load, load plus performance model. Now, this template is pretty much done and you could print this out and hand it to a coach right now, but we're just gonna go over a couple formatting options so that you can make this a little bit more um, professional looking as well as have it print to one page so that if you wanted to, you could print it off and hang it up in say your office or something like that. So without further ado, let's get going on that. So the first thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is clean up a lot of this white space. So what you're gonna notice down the left-hand side is we've basically left everything really plain. And even up here where we have our team name, um, starting date, etc. this is all like a really plain font. So one of the things I like to do is I'm just gonna change the font here. And I'm gonna highlight these three, first of all, and then go to my fonts. And I could go to more fonts. And one that I really like is a font called Teko. So T-E-K-O. And you can see I've already sort of chosen it there. So I'm gonna choose that and hit okay. And I'm gonna choose the Teco font. And you can see it's just kind of this like condensed, almost sort of robotic looking font. And if I just make this a little bit bigger, you can see that it, it, it this is just like a font that I like to put in my projects. And I'm just gonna go ahead and change a lot of these fonts um, to Teco. And I'm gonna change the font size up to about 14 for a lot of these and it's gonna look really nice. So I'm gonna do all of the titles down the sides and what I'm doing is I'm just holding down the control key as I select all of these and that way I can select a whole bunch of different um, cells all at the same time and I can sort of do this all at one time. So again, just holding down control and selecting all the cells I wanna work on and I'll change them all to that Teco font and I'm gonna make them all 14 and see how that kind of looks. So right away I think that that looks a lot better and I'm just going to now put some borders in so one place that I like to put them is just along the top here for these dates I just like to put a nice thick border there so I'll grab the thick border tool and just put one in there now a couple other things we might want to do to clean this up maybe I'll change the fonts on these dates here and for that maybe we'll use something like a lato and maybe I'll bold those and center them and make sure they're centered in the middle of the cell. And then one other thing we can do is we can just color in every other one of these um, rows and that just helps it to look or differentiate between the different rows and make it look a little nicer. So I can take sort of a dark or lighter gray here and you can see that that looks pretty nice there to me. And then down the sides here on my side panels I like it when these are sort of a dark gray, so something like that, and then the font is white, and I think it just helps it pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that for all the sides here. So with this dark gray, and then make the font sort of white. Maybe we'll bold some of these as well. Yeah, if we bold it, it looks a lot better. So we'll bold all of these fonts out, including these top ones here. So there you go, and right away you can see that that cleans our template up quite a lot. And then anywhere that we wanted to um, highlight some more things, we could put some more different borders in here. One other thing we might wanna do is maybe put some dotted borders throughout these dates here. So let's see what that looks like. You can see it's got the thick in there now, but if I go to more of a dotted, it just sort of separates those out a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we can take these dates, make those um, that Teco font, bold those out and make sure that those are sort of right in the middle of their cells. Maybe even make these just a little bit bigger. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So as you can see, like right away, 
we've really made some changes on this just by doing a couple key things, um, including changing the font color and size a little bit and making everything look nice. So the next piece that we're gonna do is maybe add a little bit of color to this um, periodization at the top. And we'll maybe make this that dark gray with the white font. And that looks pretty good there. So then finally, what we wanna do is have this actually print to one page. Now the cool thing about Google Sheets is um, in Excel, if I were to delete a bunch of rows or columns, um, if I the only way to sort of make them not show up is to hide them. And that increases the file size quite a lot. But in Google Sheets, if I delete them, they actually just don't show up. So you can see on the right hand side here, um, a lot of the um, columns that I've deleted just don't show up. So I can do that at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is from 64, I'm just gonna hold down Control and Shift, go all the way down, select all of the rows and right click, delete them. And I'm gonna zoom out so you can see. Now you can see we only have our template and it's basically a one page template. So I'll zoom back in and we're gonna go down to the final column. And if you remember, I just like to resize everything at 10. So I'm just gonna, or sorry, the final row and I'm gonna resize that to 10. And let's see what this looks like when we go to print. So I'm gonna to go to hit the print button and right away you can see that it looks pretty nice and it's starting to fit right on one page. So what I've done for this is if I hit cancel here, as soon as we changed the Teco fonts, what you can see is these side panels, they're at 21, but if I actually make these 25, so I'm gonna change the size of all these side panels and make them all 25. And it's just changing the size just a little bit. And it's gonna help me sort of fit this whole thing together. So all of these side rows are gonna be 25. And it's important that they're all the same size. And I can do that control trick again and do a whole bunch of them at the same time. Resize and hit 25. So when I go back to my print preview, there is basically our template now. To get here, what I've done is in the top right corner, there's an option to select. So I've just selected that we want to print our current sheet. The paper is eight by eight and a half by 11. Our scale, this is important. So if I were to hit normal 100%, you can see that it's that's probably what it's gonna be on when you click into here. You can see that it's kind of all over the place. So what I'm gonna click here is fit to the actual page. And then um, my margins, if I, if I were to have them on normal, which is what it might look like when you zoom, when you open this, you're gonna actually want this on custom. And what custom does is it opens up these margins at the top and you can either um, drag these down to zero or you can just type in the numbers. So I could click here and just type zero. And when I move all the margins to zero, or I mean, if your printer doesn't kind of print that way, you could go 0 0.2 kind of all the way around. 0 0.2, um, 0 0.2, and then 0 0.2. It'll leave a small margin on each side and it'll print more to one page. In my case, I want it to be zero. So actually let's go with 0 0.1 all the way around and see what that looks like. So you can see I'm just leaving a small margin on the outside and if I were to print this, it's gonna print this all to one page. So that's how we fix our margins. And then for formatting, we can turn off the grid lines so that it's not gonna show any of those grid lines around the outside. Turn off notes if we had any notes put in there. And then our alignment, we could go sort of left align or center align puts it right in the middle. And then vertical, we can put that in the center as well. Headers and footers. If you had the kind of headers that you wanted to show, you could click those on here. Maybe show the workbook title, or maybe you wanted to show the sheet name if you wanted to do that, or a current date or something like that. But that's, um, you don't have to show those. And then right away, you can see now you have a template that'll print out really nicely. So I could easily just save this to PDF from this setting right here. So there you have it, um, just a couple quick tips on the formatting of your template. And if you follow those tips, um, your template's gonna look a lot nicer 
and you're going to be able to print that out and hand it to a coach and they're going to think um, that you put together an awesome annual plan. So I hope this video helped you out and I hope this series helped you out and if it did, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, that would really help me out. And if you know anyone that this video might help, if you could share it with them, that helps to get the word out there and helps this um, series, um, well, help more coaches create things that are useful for them. So until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye.